It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the curious giraffe show. Sit back and relax, so oh. we'll sing chat and laugh so oh, on the curious giraffe show. Welcome back, everybody, and we have some new friends, and I have a new song for Who's Who on the Curious Crew. We're going to give it a try. Okay, here we go. Who's who on the Curious Crew? I am Dorothy with the show for you. This is Jeanette. Hi. And this is George. Now who else is on the Curious Crew? You. And? What's your name? Maeve. Hi, Hi Maeve. Maeve. What's your name? Maddie. Hi, Hi Maddie. Maddie. What's your name? Aurora. Hi, Hi Aurora. Aurora. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? Carla. Hi, Hi Carla. Carla. What's your name? Dorothy. Hi, Hi Dorothy. Dorothy. Hi. And What's your name? I am so glad to meet new friends and see, greet old friends. And let's see what question the giraffes were wondering about today. We're going to start with a verse we've done before. Giraffe looked over at Eagle and said, and asked her a question. And then we'll get the new verse about today's show. Here we go. Giraffes looked over at Eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh yeah, here we go. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. to see the world from way up there. The mountain called come exercise, explore the fresh clean air. Underneath this one big sky, oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along, cause we can all share. I got the words a little mixed up, but did you figure out what the question is about or what the topic is today? Earth and exercise. Earth and exercise, yes, and exploring. E. e. We're up to letter E, and those are our, our special words. Good pain. Is it uppercase and lowercase E? Yes, you can use them. Some words need the capital at the beginning of a line in a song. Sometimes you see the lowercase. So definitely, we use both uppercase and lowercase. All right. So they started, giraffes looked over at the mountain because they live in the grassland. Have any of you ever climbed the mountain or explored part of a mountain? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, yes. I and do rock climbing. You do rock climbing. I get all the way at the top. Do you really? Mm -hmm. That's That's what I think of as fun exercise when you're outside and I exploring. It, and I ring the bell at the top of it. Oh, there's a top on the rock climbing wall. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, wow. It's a rock climbing gym. Okay, so you do that indoors, right? Mm -hmm. And that's to help you get strong. And that's the, my favorite one. Great. Now, have any of you ever climbed outside a uh, mountain, yeah. a real the real mountain. Yeah, I, um, there's Leverett Trails where I live, mm -hmm. and there's these big boulders, and one of them has a tree sticking out of it, and I climbed that one. That is so cool. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. With, with my class, we hiked the Seven Sisters. Oh, 
That's a really long hike. <laughs> yes, the Seven Sisters are part of our Holyoke range near here. That's a big hike. Anybody else climbed outdoors? Um, we've gone hiking at Mount Tom before. Great. Mount Tom is a great place to go hiking. All right. So did you go by yourself? No. You went with hiking buddies? Yeah. That's a great idea for outdoor exercise. And did you wear flip-flops no. for hiking? What did you wear? Sneakers. Sneakers. Why, were, why are sneakers better than flip-flops for mountain climbing? Because you can get hurt. What, how? Because they're not like some crocs have holes and like a rock could stick on um, like cut your foot open or flip flops are not like closed so like you could fall between them. Yeah, they, they had like these little tiny Yeah, things and could, they could get fall in off. Hurt you. Yeah. They could fall off. And you could get poked like if you step. On the same thing, like, exactly like a thorn or something. A thorn, yeah. or a, or a nail. Yeah, so it's really great. So I was thinking about um, what kind of outdoor exercise are Tevas or Crocs? These are good because they hug your foot, but like you said, you could get scrapes. What 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 kind of outdoor exercise are are these good for? Hmm. Running? Maybe running a bicycle? Maybe maybe biking, maybe running. How about, I bet you all maybe aren't even walking. thinking. walking? That's what I was going to say, walking. A simple outdoor exercise is walking. Um, I do agree. Why are sneakers so good for climbing or walking or biking? Yes. They have a gri grip, I think, underneath them. Many sneakers have, have bumps underneath that grip. They grip all kinds of different surfaces better. Yes. I think they're safer than um, other loose ones because um, then you get like hurt. Mm -hmm. They cover your foot and they tie on there. Okay, great. Let's move on to another song about other ways to explore our earth. Oh, I'm gonna, s yeah, let's, let's go on. Okay, to muscle and bone. And the first part of this song is about exploring a river. So here we go. There's a great big river and the water is wide. How you gonna get to the other side? Think about it first and find a boat. Grab a wooden paddle and roll.
that song was written by my friend Catherine Dines. I like that song a lot. I yeah, do too. Please. Why do you like it? I don't know. It just sounds really good to me. Yeah, today, it's saying here. It's saying here. Today, when we were driving to here, mm -hmm. um, we listened to that song. Okay, so that's Twice. how you could sing along so well. That's wonderful. And I hope children that listen to our show can sing along too. As soon as they get to know it. So the, the first thing they talk about is rowing on a river. So what kind of boats can you use to row on a river? A, a boat. Canoe. A canoe a is a specific kind. A ki kayak is another kind. A rowboat. And a rowboat's another kind. Um, swim across. You swim across, but when it's a big body of water, a boat helps, right? Or so a floaty. I wrote a song. Or a floaty. A floaty when you're swimming. That's true. I wrote a song about when I was out on a river near here, the Swift River. And I want you each to think about if you want, you if phone? you're riding a canoe, if you're riding in a canoe, you have one paddle, right? With one blade. Yeah. Those, those of you who want to paddle in a canoe can do that. If you want to paddle a kayak, what's that paddle like? It has two paddles and you got to paddle like this sort of. Exactly. You can stroke on one side and then the other because it has two blades. Or you can jump over it. more effective. Or you can jump over No, we're going to paddle. This time we're paddling. So imagine being in a boat. It can be a canoe. And you can be with other people. You could be in a kayak by yourself or a rowboat. A rowboat, you lean forward and you have two separate paddles, but you pull them together. And they move your boat through the water. So we're going to sing this song, the Swift River Paddling Song. And you choose if you're in a canoe, a kayak, or a rowboat. And let's sing what this song. I was... Then when I made up this song, I was in a kayak. I'm gonna, but I've I'm also be been floating. in a canoe. I love both of those boats. They're both fun for me. Fun way to explore. Yeah, let's go on and get the song. Okay, worlds above and worlds below. So in your river, you look up above. And because you're in these small boats that you're paddling, you can look and see into the water. Here we go. Pick up your paddles. Choose what kind of boat you're going to do. Here we go. Worlds above and worlds below, paddling down the swift river I go. Worlds above and worlds below, floating between them I go with the flow. Okay, sing with me next verse. Here we go, same thing. Worlds above and worlds below.
have a nice time there? Yeah. yeah. Great. I do too. I just Does love it. Does anyone else want to walk in it? That's very oh, nice. Look. Okay, Lauren or Wayne. Uh -oh. Okay, we can take turns. Maybe another turn. Okay. Thank you for offering and thank you for speaking up. So, but when you're sitting in a boat, your body might get restless. So now I think I want to do our second song. I'm going to move our body and let's stand up. Okay, carefully where you are. Okay, now I'm thinking of an ex exercises that are safe for us on this small space. So our first exercise, I'll say a line, you say it back. Exercise your body. Oh, you say it with me. Exercise your mind. Learn about the world around and exercise kind. Exercise your body. Exercise your heart. Keep moving and keep grooving so you can be body smart. All right. Now, let's move our legs finally. Okay, I'll try this. Exercise your body. Exercise your mind. Learn about the world around and exercise kind. Exercise your body. Exercise your heart. Keep moving and keep grooving so you can be body smart. Yeah. All right. So that's a song you could do more or less, whatever you want. But my friend wrote another fun exercise song that I think we'll use our whole bodies for. This is another friend named Kate Carpenter. Okay, so here, when you exercise or do the things in the song, just do them in the space that you have and um, have fun. I'm going to sing it slowly the first time. If you catch on, sing with me. Otherwise, just do what it sings about. And then we'll try it through another time a little faster. First time slowly, second time faster. You want to share it? Do you want to use it during the exercise song, Lauren? Okay. Okay. So Jeanette will do the exercises with you. You ready? You got to run a little. Can you run in place? Run a little, jump a little, climb a tree. Get your body moving like a bumblebee. Kick up your heels and reach for the sky. Make the extra effort. Try, try, try. Like the cheetah runs. Yeah, that's hard to do in place. Good. And you'll climb like a monkey. <laughs> Having so much fun. Work it out, work it out. Push, push, push. Limit your screen time. Get up off your tush. Exercise, exercise. Be all you can be. E X E R C I. Ready. You gotta run a little, jump a little, climb a tree. Get your bodies moving like a bumblebee. Kick up your heels and reach for the sky. Make the extra effort. Try, try, try. And you will leap like a lion. Roar! Be swift like the cheetah run. And you'll climb like a monkey. <laughs> oh, having so much fun. Come on and work it out, work it out, push, push, push. Limit your screen time, get up off your tush. A, exercise, exercise, be all you can be. E, X, E, R, C, I, S, E. Freeze. One more time. You gotta run a little, climb a little, climb a tree. Get your body moving like a bumblebee. Kick up your heels and reach for the sky. Make the extra effort. Try, try, try. Yeah. All right. Very good, everybody. Excellent. What? I like the freeze. The freeze part. I thought that was really smart for her to toss that into such a busy song. Freeze. Everybody freeze. Nice. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes and count to four. And you move however you want. And we'll do it again. One, two, three, four.
four, freeze. Okay, and then count to three. One, two, three, freeze. Here we go. To two. One, two, freeze. One, freeze. Awesome. Very good. Have a seat, everybody. You did wonderfully. Okay. So one thing we talked about to be safe when we're exercising and exploring is to wear things on your feet that fit what you're doing. So when I go kayaking, I might wear these Crocs, but I'll use, when I'm just slipping them on like slippers at home, I use the strap this way. But if I'm kayaking and um, stepping in and over the sand or rocks with my boat, I make sure that heel strap grabs my heel. And what's another safety thing if you're going boating? Life jacket. And life jacket. And what were you thinking? Water shoes. Water shoes are very good too. You can have rubber um, soles that can be wet. Waterproof shoes. Waterproof or water shoes. Yeah, that are made specifically for water. And I did bring an example of a nice, nice life jacket. And life jackets are designed to hold adults or children and they say right on the label I noticed when I got this one out this one is if you weigh 50 to 90 pounds this would fit you so that would fit most of us that are on this show and if you go biking to explore the world biking what's a safety a thing helmet. is that what you were thinking yeah so I brought a helmet from my house, biking is another thing I love to do outdoors. Yes? Biking shoes. And biking shoes. What would you wear to, to on your bike? Um, safety ones. Sneakers. Sneakers or, yes, something that stays on your foot and that you can put your foot down to stop safety without ones. scraping your toes. That's why I probably wouldn't wear these for biking I, I, because I could scrape my toes. It's good to think about what you want to do outside and what you want to bring. But not sandals. Okay, now I have something that... Sandals are okay. I want you to guess that's Sandal. in my mystery box. You see this mystery box? Yeah. I don't know if Carla can see, but this is my mystery box. And sometimes I bring just something to keep our curiosity. It's the Curious Giraffe Show, right? So something in here, whether you're exercising indoors or outdoors, it's a really good idea to bring. Hmm. So start asking me yes or no questions, and we'll see if we can guess what else. Is it exercise equipment? Sort of. Is it <laughs> That's something hard that you one. wear to exercise? Okay, no, you don't wear it. What was it? Is it a piece of clothing? No. Is it hard? Did I make it really hard? Mm -hmm. Is Think it about. an eating elephant? Is it a what? Eating elephant. An eating elephant. I wish it was an eating elephant. That's a Maybe great... Maybe a tiny miniature? A little miniature elephant in my box. Do you want an elephant with you when you're exercising? Would that be a good exercise friend? Giraffes. Little giraffes in here, that would be fun. Uh, what would um, you I maybe think, want to um, It's like a thing that you would use for it. It's like when you get really hot or really tired. A water bottle. And you're, bingo, bingo, bingo. Okay, so Emily, why don't you and Carla help open these two latches? And I brought you, I don't have one favorite kind, but I have many different kinds of water bottles. Hold them up and pass them around. Let everybody notice what's the same or different. Okay, what's your water bottle like? Um, well, it has like a soft part and then hard part. It's soft to your hand. It feels really nice. What's yours like, Emily? Um, mine's kind of like this one. And how are they alike? Uh, it has this part. Oh, the part you drink from? Yeah. Okay. That part for it. Um, All right. And it's kind of the same shape. They're cylinders, aren't they? All of them yeah. are fit in your hand nicely. 
How about Lauren? Can you describe yours a little bit? Mostly like either the one May has or the one I have. You know what? Yours is scratched a lot, but you know why? Mm -hmm. Because I put it in my bike a lot. And the holder for it would scrape the paint off, but it held my water very well. Didn't spill. How about you, Aurora? What's yours like? My water bottle is a little bit weird. It's <laughs> like it's like this bu blue bubble, and you press the metal, and the sides come up, and then you can drink from it. And to close it, you push the sides down, and it closes, and it makes into a bubble again. Fun. I want to see yours sometime. Yes, you want to tell me about yours? Um, mine is like little tiny plastic something. Okay. Yours is made of plastic, and let's go on. You want to tell us about um, yours? Mine kind of looks like a tea mug. It sort of looks like a tea mug. Very cool. And, and I noticed like some of them have little bumps that you drink from. Some are flat, but they all carry your water. Okay, we're going to sing a, one last song and then our closing because we're running out of time. This one just is a song that celebrates Earth and it's to the tune of Bingo. If you know that song, you'll catch on really quickly. Okay? I love that song. That song is so nice. Good. Here we go. Earth's the place where we all live. Yes, Earth's our favorite planet. E A R T H E A R T H E A R T H. Yes, Earth's our favorite planet. Air and trees and rocks and seas, they're all part of. down your water bottles and clap with the song. How about, okay? Now Earth's our only place in space, so let's clean up our planet. E-A-R-T-H, E-A-R-T-H, E-A-R-T-H. Yes, Earth's our favorite planet. Let's help all creatures live in peace. Let's take care of our planet. our favorite planet. All right, so I hope you all have really fun time exploring the earth this summer and think about bringing your water bottles and wearing the kinds of things that keep you safe. It's time for us to set everything in the middle and line up across the front and sing our goodbye song. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Use this for a table. Great idea. Reach. Nice. Okay, so we're going to come around front, make room for Carla. Yeah, you. Okay, either way. All right. And we join hands. We have two new friends. Teach them how to do this. And here we go. And we'll remind our listeners at home to keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Here we go. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.